Hello, my name is Thomas Lee. I'm with Reality Flux Studios, and this is a follow up video series for the flashlight tutorial where I show how to create a working flashlight. Uh, there are a couple comments I wanted to address, and a couple extra features that people uh, asked about. The first comment was whether or not I can give a link to all the scripts. And I explain here, I'm not going to go over it word by word, but Basically, it's only about 30 to 40 lines of code, uh, not including the curly braces and everything, just like the lines of code that are more than a couple characters. Um, so following along, if there's any, if you encounter a bug or something that you need help with, I'm more than willing to help debug your code, but to just give it out, um, because I'm given I'm teaching it through the the tutorial. I don't just want to give it out because then people will just skip the tutorial and there's no learning involved. Um, if there's any clarification needed on what the code does, if I don't do well enough in the videos, please ask and I will, of course, address that. Um, I also say in the in the comment that in the future, when there are multiple tutorial series available, uh, for people that are more artistically inclined that just want to make the assets and want the code to help them along then we will uh, offer we will offer the the code in a package in a zip package to download uh, possibly for a small fee to help with software and hardware upgrades if need be so um, that's in the future though it, these tutorials are relatively short and the code isn't very complex so I, I'm gonna refrain from just giving the code away um, but the other comments were about I got two suggestions on how to uh, on extra features to add and one of them is adding a sound when you turn the light on and off well I went ahead and I I did that um, and I will teach that in an upcoming video. I just wanted to show it. So we go pick up the flashlight, press and tap, and you got a nice sound effect. I will give the website, they're freely available um, from this website I found, and I'll put the, the URL in the description and actually go to the website on that video. Uh, the other suggestion was how can I script to pick up? Uh, with the mouse button. Well, I also did that, and there are actually two ways to do it. So, with uh, let's see, I'll just save that real quick. Um, just let Unity open. So, the first way to do it is using a collider. So, within when you're within a certain radius, within that collider radius. See now I'm walking over it and it doesn't pick up. But when you're within the collider radius and you click on it, it will pick it up. But if I'm far away, like I am now from that battery, I'm not in the radius. Clicking, get closer to it, click on it, and I can pick it up. And there's no sound effect on this one because I'm doing them separately. So get within the radius and I can pick it up. I'm clicking on it as I walk to it. I get within the radius and I can pick it up. Okay, and the other one is this similar. It's but it uses uh, a vector um a, a vector 3 to basically determine the distance you are from the object and if you're within a certain range you then can can pick it up. So I believe it's set to two meters. Yeah. And you can see I, I have some debug code down here where it tells me the location and then as I get closer then within a certain when you're within a certain range it will then pick it up. So I'll go over all three of these ideas, the two for the pick up by clicking uh, and the sound effect. So, I'll see you in the next.